We're going to keep pushing forward and look at the v4 directive, which is going to allow us to loop over lists, a very common thing to do in most applications. We're going to need a list to loop over first, so I'm going to create a new one here. It's just going to be a list of numbers from 1 to 10. So let's just go ahead and create that quickly. So let's go ahead and loop over these numbers. I'm going to create a new div and we're going to use the v4 directive and this just takes the, the array we'd like to loop over. So we're going to say for number in numbers and this is going to loop over all those numbers for us. Now all we need to do is render the number out and with a bit of luck this is going to work. Let's head back to our browser and see what happens. And sure enough we are able to render the numbers from 1 to 10. Let's go ahead and combine this with the isEven function we created in the previous screencast and we're going to only render the numbers that are even. So I'm going to have another div in here and we're just going to say v if, and we're going to call the is even function and pass in the number. Because we're doing this, we're going to have to update our signature to take a uh, argument. So let's head down to the is even function and do that. I'm going to make this take a number and we're just going to change this to be a number as well. And that means we're going to have to update this as well. Let's just pass in count. Now, if we go ahead and save this off, with a bit of luck, it's going to check if the number is even. And if it is even, it's going to show it. Otherwise, it's not going to render it. And if we refresh the page, we can see this is working exactly how we expected. It's only rendering the even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So everything is working as expected. These two uh, directives are very, very useful, v if and v4. But I'd like to show you one more, which is v show. And this is going to do something very similar, but it works a little bit differently. If we save this off and head back to the browser, we can see we're going to get the exact same result. But the main difference here is if you're using v if, it's not going to render the node at all, or that this div is not going to be rendered. On the other hand, vshow, it is going to render this div. It's just going to set the display to be none. So basically, it's going to set the style to be display none. So the div is still going to be present in the DOM. It's just not going to be visible. Depending on what you're hoping to accomplish, you might want to use vif or vshow. Especially vshow is useful for when you're doing things like animations. But if you don't want the node to be rendered at all, you're generally going to be using vif.